How can we tell what was oxidized and reduced in a net ionic equation? So let's use oxidation numbers. Elements have oxidation numbers of zero. So for example, nickel the solid and copper the solid, they have oxidation states of zero. Ions that are singular, like the copper and nickel here, will just take their ionic charge as their oxidation number. So for example, this will be plus two, and the nickel here will be also plus two. So let's look at how these numbers changed. Nickel goes from a zero to a plus two, it's getting more positive, so that means nickel was oxidized, it lost electrons, specifically two. Copper goes from a plus two to a zero, so it's getting more negative, so this means it gained electrons and it's reduced. So let's write down our half reactions. Nickel is my oxidation, so it's gonna look like this. Nickel the solid oxidizes into nickel the ions and two electrons. Remember, loss of electrons means that your electrons will show up on your product side. They're being lost from the nickel solid. Reduction is going to be copper two plus the ion, gaining two electrons, so plus two E, that will produce copper the metal. And so again, that's how if we actually add these up, that'll give me my net ionic equation over here. Notice also the charges balance, that's a good way to check your work. So for example, plus two and minus two, that equals the zero charge we see. And then with the reduction, plus two and minus two on the left, that equals zero, and that equals the zero charge on the right side as well. Let me know if you wanna see a more difficult example, and thanks for tuning in.